What's up guys? Welcome back to Samojo Homestead. Today we've got a little bit of a fun special video that I wanted to do with you guys. Um, we're gonna come over here to this butterfly bush because hint hint that has something to do with it. If you saw this weekend's video you heard me talk about uh, this fun video that we're doing this week and a little bit of a backstory to it. Uh, Josiah, our son, wanted to bring in and raise up a caterpillar this year. So every year on our uh, plants that are in the carrot family, mainly it's like the dill, parsley, and fennel. Actually, let me take you over there and we're gonna see, I don't think we have any left out here. Uh, I do know there are two chrysalises that are hanging on the fence beside it. But we can go see if there's anything over here. Okay, it does not look like it, but I do want to show you guys. Okay, so these, we did cut them back up here. So these were not all chomped back. But this is our parsley, and these things were covered in black swallowtail butterflies. And they will strip the bark. After they've eaten all of the leaves, then they will basically, you can see that, uh, they eat the outside. So really anything that is green, they're going to eat. Um, so they come every year out here. I don't try to get rid of them. We actually have fun. The kids like to pet them because they will actually like, I don't remember what it's called, but it's some type of like organ or something that pops out of their head. It's like two little yellow things that look like a snake tongue, which releases this smell. Now, I can't smell it, but if it's a predator, Predators are extremely sensitive to it. They don't like it and they will leave. So they like to come out here and mess with them. So anyway, back to the story. This year, Josiah decided that he wanted to bring one inside so that he could watch it uh, grow up and basically become a butterfly. So we've been doing that. I've been putting a ton of posts on my personal Facebook page. I'm just keeping up with Munchie. So Munchie is the name of the caterpillar that he chose. I did tell him that he had to pick one of the bigger ones. So he did get one and sure enough, within probably, I think it was two, maybe three days. I think it was three days. Um, Munchie started to enter into the chrysalis phase. So what I did was take a time lapse of this process. Now it is a very long process and I did not have enough memory to just sit there and let it go and go and go. So I basically time lapsed uh, every hour or so. Uh, for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you that right now. And, and then after that, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna share some facts that are going to blow your mind that I feel like most people don't know about caterpillars, especially during this whole chrysalis phase. So pretty cool. Now that process takes a lot longer than I realized. So it is kind of hard to see like that whole process uh, unfolding in those clips, but you can start to see the change and what it takes. So it takes a lot of work. So that made me start looking into it because I, me, like most people, I think, I always thought that they basically just hung upside down and then this little chrysalis thing formed around them not true it is 
this entire miraculous thing that takes place while this is going on. So insects, they go through different phases of life. I'm about to geek out on you guys scientifically here, uh, <laughs> but since insects go through different phases of life. So for a caterpillar, it starts off as an egg, then it goes to a larva, which is the caterpillar, and then a pupa, which is actually the chrysalis stage, into adulthood, which is the butterfly. So, of course, they all start out as eggs. That egg hatches, and you've got your larva stage, which is the caterpillar. That's what we all see, that's what we all know, and maybe love or hate. So, the caterpillar's job is to eat as much food as possible, to store up as much energy as possible, so that it can enter into the chrysalis stage, or the pupa stage. The pupa, or the chrysalis, actually exist within the caterpillar. So as the caterpillar grows, it's shedding its skin. It'll shed its skin about three to five times in its life cycle, kind of depending on what variety it is. And then there starts to be like this hormonal change and it something in it triggers like, okay, stop eating and start finding a safe place. So what it will do is find a safe place, typically underneath a branch or somewhere like that, and it will hang upside down. Now, I've always thought that it was just basically going into a restful period. Not true, my friends, not true. What is happening is this thing is working to get its chrysalis out. So if you caught it earlier, I said the chrysalis exists inside the caterpillar. Yes, that is actually correct. So the caterpillar will crawl up and what happens is it sheds its skin for the last time and what's left is the chrysalis. That is when it has entered into the pupa stage. That's why you saw a lot of wiggling and what looked like shaking on that time lapse, but really it was kind of squirming, wiggling, and then really subtle uh, movements, which was it just trying to work its way out of its skin. Now, I wanna stop here. There's a major difference. People say, oh look, my caterpillar has, is in its cocoon. It is not a cocoon. Butterflies do not have cocoons. They have a chrysalis. A cocoon is actually a silk pouch. Moth caterpillars will spin cocoons, but butterfly caterpillars do not spin cocoons. It is just a chrysalis. So what that chrysalis is, is it emerges and then it will harden. And when it hardens, this is where it gets like creepy sci-fi like. What happens is the same enzymes that were inside that caterpillar that it used to break down the leaves begin to break down its own body. Yeah, that's right. It really does start to eat itself and begins to liquefy. So it will liquefy all the way down and it is dead. There is no life in this thing. Now, there are a couple of organs that are protected and do not get basically eaten and it just basically it will sit there and reserve those organs so after that it begins to reorganize itself crazy it is just a pouch of liquid and some cells and a couple of organs that are reserved uh, that will be basically realigned and reused in the butterfly so that will all take place within the first few days of it being in its chrysalis form. And then it begins to, to form what we know is a butterfly. <sighs> Crazy. The only thing that we know of as humans that goes through this change in such an extreme measure. We're Christians. Like I chalk that up to God and I chalk that up to a pure miracle. Like I don't understand how that could possibly work. You have nature without a brain or any kind of organizing thing turning liquid back into a mass that then creates a new living thing. What? So yeah. So then it's going to sit in there. It's going to continue to develop into a mature butterfly. And when the time is right, it's going to hatch out of that chrysalis. It comes out it's got to start pumping fluid. Most people say blood. It's actually not blood. Fluid from its abdomen up into those wings to get them out, let them dry, and it goes on about its happy little adult life from there on. Another fun fact just to throw in there, if you've ever seen one right after it hatches out, there's like this um, almost red liquid that looks like blood. I've always thought it was just kind of bodily fluid blood stuff in there. 
That's actually all of the excrement that is left over from when the chrysalis ate the caterpillar and it all turned to liquid. It forms this little like red excrement stuff that stays in there because it has no way to expel it until the butterfly hatches out and then that's what's there and that's when it is released. Who knew, right? So one of nature's little miracles, I'm gonna correct that statement. It's actually one of nature's biggest miracles. I just think that is so fascinating and it just makes it so much cooler watching this process take place and knowing what's going on inside that little chrysalis that we have brewing in our house. Cannot wait to see Munchie hatch out into this completely changed new animal called a black swallowtail butterfly. Super exciting. So for all you guys who have joined in on this movement and <laughs> brought that caterpillar inside of your house, thank you. That just makes me excited because I just think it's so cool when we can experience nature up close and that is one way to do that, especially when we get our kids involved. I just, I really do get excited about that and I really do think it is hilarious but really, really cool that uh, so many of you guys have started doing it because of those Facebook posts. So now you know a little bit more about what's going on with your little friends then maybe you can appreciate it that much more. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining in uh, in this adventure. If you are part of our YouTube family, we really do appreciate you. If you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We like to consider you guys family when you do that. And we just love building that community. So thank you guys. Hope you have a great week. And until next time, be blessed.